So in the last video that I made, we created this script called welcome.shell. And what it did is it prompted, well, it told the user the name of the computer, but then it prompted the user whether or not they wanted to involve, it view the software, install them that host, and then it told them the software and the versions. And just to recap, it looked really something like this. And we said, we, we made this script so that when a user performs a certain action, such as um, logging in, we can place this in Etsy profile, Etsy profile D, and when they log in, they're prompted with the host name and do you want to view the software installed on the system? Um, so it had a use case, that being to make the individual who logged on's life easier if they were accessing multiple computers and they were all uh, had multiple different purposes and they weren't really sure which one they were on. Um, but now in this one, what we want to do is we want to get that application to show up uh, you know, if you're on a Red Hat Enterprise Linux system, under the Applications tab in the top left, or on this Ubuntu system, we want it to get it to show up here uh, as an icon that people can find and click on. So they're not annoyed when they log in with a box. If they want to go find out, we tell them where they can find out, and they go find out. Okay. So real quick, if we sudo up and we cd over to user share application, Right, and then we go to, uh, we just do an LS, right? These are all the applications for all the users on this system um, that are going to show up. Uh, for instance, we have Libre, Office, Impress, Math, Start Center, right? Um, if we go over here and we type Libre, those show up here. Um, and that's where uh, the majority of your desktop icons are gonna be placed when you want uh, all the users on the system to have access to them. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our script here. Now, if I open up, so say I open up vim.desktop, vim right? They've all got this similar look to them, desktop entry, you know, with a name, a generic name, a comment, uh, and then all these different language, uh, strings here for you know comments in different languages which aren't not all of these are required uh, there's a lot of details you can put in here um, try exact exact terminal true keywords icon you know the location of the icon categories there's a lot of options in here you're more than welcome to try and build your own dot desktop file but by far the easiest way is to use a little tool called a la carte. I've tested this on Ubuntu, Red Hat 6, Red Hat 7, and unfortunately it doesn't work on Red Hat 8. However, there is a third-party repository for CentOS 8 called uh, the Raven repository that does house a la carte. So you could set up a repo to that third-party repo if you wanted to. I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, Ubuntu, Red Hat 6, 7, and I'm sure SUSE and other versions of Linux um, have it by default as well. But it's if you do an app install on Ubuntu of a la carte, and that installs the application for building uh, desktop icons. And it makes it super simple. And once you figure out where that outputs the output to, you can then move it around, right? Um, so I downloaded a la carte. Really important to remember, whatever user you build this icon on, this application icon on, um, it will be on that user initially until you move it to the system-wide user share applications. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of root and I'm gonna run a la carte as the admin user on my machine. And it's gonna open this window. And you can see all the uh, ones that are already on the system here, but we're gonna go ahead and make a new item and we're gonna name it, uh, I'm just gonna name it software view. And the command is gonna be the option to your executable, right? Your script, the script that we created. So it's an opt and it's called welcome.shell. And I can put a comment if I want. And all launch and terminal does is it lets you launch that application from a terminal window. Similar to if you were to open gedit, right? You can open it from a desktop icon or even Firefox, or you can just type it in the terminal, right? I can open Firefox in here or I can type Firefox in the terminal. So I'm gonna click okay. And I can close that. Now, if I go over here and I open the 
applications window where I can search for applications, right? I can then see the software script that I, that I wrote here. If I click on it, you know, it runs my host name is, uh, would you like to view the installed software? Yes, I would. This is great for me, right? I'm the only user who can see this because this is in my home directory, uh, local share applications. What I can do is I can take this and if I sudo up here and I go back to user share applications uh, and put it in here with all these different desktop files, right? So if I copy from slash home user uh, dot local dot local uh, and it was share applications uh, and that was alicarte. Yep. If I copy that here, I'm going to do an ls dash oh, caps lock ls dash l. Uh, you can see they're all read, write, read, read for permissions, root, root. Uh, the owner and the group don't matter so much as the permissions do. LS dash L. Okay, made. Dot desktop. You want to make sure it's alicarte made dot desktop and not alicarte dot desktop because alicarte dot desktop is the actual alicarte application. Uh, so that's good. It's read, write, read, read, because if it wasn't read, read, you know, if others couldn't read it, um, no, nobody would be able to see it because root is the group and the owner. Um, so now just to prove my point here that it's now available for other users, if I switch users here and let's switch on over to, uh, let's go, sorry, my computer's loose. Let's do Riku, right? So here I am on the other user Riku and I got my VM crashed in the middle of switching users and it was a whole debacle, but if I do a who, you can see I am now another user, the user, user Riku on the same machine. And if I go here, I can now see the desktop application that we had created using that executable that we created in an earlier video as this user. And I can see it for every user on the system because we had placed it in the directory user share applications instead of each user's home directory dot local share applications. Really? What did I have? Holy crap, come on.